Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Last time, we started up the Moleville Mines, the, I guess, third dungeon of the game, maybe? And, yeah. We also fought Crockle in the last part, too, and, nah. Of course, we have to make some bob -ombs. I don't think bob -ombs drop any coins for beating them. No, it doesn't look like it. Makes a bit of sense. I mean, like, why would a bob -omb have coins on him? Anyways, if you, you can find a Starman in that there, which can be very useful for getting level level ups here. Uh, Mario and Mallow leveled up. I'm gonna need to think here for a moment as to what I want these guys. Okay, level 8, so... Well, 2 was that, 3 was that, 4 was that, 5 was that, 6 was that, 7 was that, back to the power it looks like. And Mallow, we met him when he was on level 3, I think. Okay, so, that, that, that. 5, 6, 7, okay, he's getting special it looks like. Yeah, I'd like Gino to get his next level up because he gets a really nice ability. Um, a nice ability on his next level. Next level at 51 experience, okay. That's not so bad. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fight some of these enemies here, even though we have quite a few friggin' enigmas. Well, it, the good thing about the enigma enemies is that they are really weak to Mario's jump attack. Although well, they are really powerful. Guess not to Mal, though. Okay, that did a ton of damage. Drain, of course, you would do that. Alright, so after that random battle there, um, much more experience is left, uh, not that. 41, okay, we can definitely get that in the remaining amount that we have. Although we are actually really close to being done with the dungeon, believe it or not. I kind of lied when I said we were halfway. See, the dungeon itself isn't that long, it's just that it kind of has a, uh, fight with, um, As a fight with uh, Crocko that kind of makes it like a bit like more spread out of a dungeon. Why'd you attack Gino with that? That's gonna kill him, I bet. Yup. Alright, let's go for super jump on you. Killed those guys. Let's Thunderbolt the Bob Bombs, even though I don't think this has much of an effect. Well, it didn't really have much of an effect to these guys, but yeah. Thankfully, Gino will still get experience for that, so that's a good thing. He is still, like, weak now because he has, like, friggin' 1 HP left. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fight all these bob bombs here, cause... I, I do really want Gino to get his, uh, new move before we go on to the next area. Cause his new move will help out with the boss a lot. It's pro Gino's next move is probably his best move in the entire game, believe it or not. May maybe not his best move, but one of them. Ooh, more, actually, some more tough enemies.
Um, on a random unrelated topic, when I was actually going through this game more recently, like, on one of my more recent playthroughs of this game, um, hold on. Yeah. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, on a somewhat more recent playthrough of this game, and, like, I was doing this next area, and I actually didn't quite have Gino's new move yet, that, I'll be, that I'm currently grinding up a little bit to get to, which I should be able to get to soon, like, after this battle or the next battle, which I'm really hoping I can get, because that move is helpful as hell, believe me, and, like, I guess it was because I was trying to practice for, like, doing this battle the game fast, so, like, I kind of realized how difficult this, like, game can be without, like, being on a significantly decent level for, like, some of the more tougher boss battles, so, yeah, that's kind of one thing I, I'll, I'll kind of give my initial recommendation what I think it should be, like, what levels you should be on before you go fight the bosses, that way I think, yeah. Okay, there we go, took care of all those. Uh, one more guy. Um, I have three characters. I'll use one of my flower tabs now, I suppose. That's one of the things that's helpful about the flower tabs is that they can instantly refill every single flower point you have. So it's useful to use save them, obviously, but they're really helpful items when used properly. There we go, Gino reaches level 8. We met him when he was on like level 6, I think, so... He was level 7 when we upgraded his power. Yeah, he learns Gino Boost. Very helpful move. See, so yeah, I'm gonna upgrade his HP. Anyways, I'm gonna save he or I'm gonna heal up first and then save really quickly because... We're gonna be taking on the boss of the Moleville Mines, or as I guess they're called the Coal Mines. I believe this is a flower, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And hello, random lunatic throwing bombs everywhere. Good day! The name's Nello. Punchinello. Punchinello? Never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead. But I'll show them. You, you'll make me famous. So long. All right. Now, I'm gonna recommend this. Set up Geno Boost ASAP. This will make the battle go by so, so, so much smoother. Believe me. I'm gonna set up Geno Boost on now, I suppose. Once everyone has a uh, Geno Boost up, I think that's when I might start uh, doing some, some significant damage here. Um, I'm gonna use Thunderbolt really quickly because that'll get rid of everything on the field. The uh, stupid little guys, anyway. Yeah, he'll throw the four more on. Let's use Geno Boost again. I don't think it costs much to use up Geno Boost either, which is really helpful. And you do a quite a bit more damage, too, which is why it's a pretty significant move. <laughs> it's you it's good just for the offensive boost sometimes anyways punchinello has multiple phases the first phase has roughly about 200 hp or so and pu it punchinello no it has more than 200 but should be done a bit very soon yeah not bad not bad let's up the intake yeah now 
Personally, I had a lot of trouble with Punch and L when I first played this game. I considered this probably one of the toughest fights in the game. And I don't really consider it that bad anymore because I now know like a, more strategies and how to do this place much better. Maybe it's because I didn't have Geno Boosts when I first played this game, but meh. I don't know really. Cause, I mean at this point, like I'm doing a lot of damage to him and he can't really do much. Yeah, see I'm past his second phase by this point now. Alright. It's clobber time. Three big bob bombs. Mazobomb. That's a weird name for them. I know, let's try Thunderbolt on these guys. I think this might be the last phase, I could be wrong though. Yeah, see a big bomb just exploded and did like that little damage to me. Like, let's look at this here. Geno's taking about half his damage, Mal's taking 5 HP, and Maru's taking 11 HP of damage. That's like hardly anything whatsoever. Arr! I must be dreaming. I'm ruined. I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. And I think this is actually the end of the fight here, too. So, yeah. Simmer down, Fluffy. I'm not going to waste this on you. Who knows what might happen. Take your best shot. Enough. I've got my pride. Now you're in for it. Oh, what the hey? Why isn't it working? Err. Mario, if this thing explodes, we're history. This is a fine mess. Let's scram now. Uh-oh. Ow. It's gonna blow. No! What on earth was that? Well, we won the battle. Now I hope we don't lose the war. We are Dinah and the Star. I guess my question's just been answered. Come on, Mario, let's go. Come on, let's get this show on the road. So yeah, I'm actually not going to end the episode off yet. There's something, one more thing I want to do really quickly. Ugh, this won't budge. Ugh, I hate this stupid thing. Help here. Give me this mine part, part of push. Care to read the warning? Forget it. Yeah, my car ride. Yippee, this is going to be fun. Time to play some freaking minecart. Mm. Yay. I absolutely love this minigame in this game, really. Like, it's kind of complex to control at first, but it plays very well, I find. And the graphics actually look really good. I did not mean to do that there. Wait, what? That's weird. I was holding down the appropriate turning button. Maybe I needed to be breaking at that time. I think that's probably what the cause was for that. I don't know what the fastest way of getting through this is, or... Yeah. I think you need to be breaking around those corners there, because... I don't see any way otherwise how you would be able to get over them. And you have to jump at those parts there, because... Otherwise, they'll just hit the ground. What? Oh. Anyways, 
On certain sections like these here, you'll come to a more side-scrolling area. These remind me an awful lot of Donkey Kong Country. Now the mushrooms, you can use them by pressing the X button, which is pretty cool. And yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit clunky, I find, but eh. In other ways, I find this minigame, like, quite damn fun, I have to say. Like, this is probably one of the highlights of this game here. It's this minecart minigame. It's probably the best minigame in the entire game, in fact, I'd say. Now we have back in the main area. It might not be the main area. It's hard to tell with this place. Totally holding down the button for that turn. Oh god, this is gonna be tough. And that was not exactly what I wanted to do there. It's pretty much set up in whatever way set whatever way you go through, you can always do this part here. And you can't really do big jumps like that either. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of doing pretty crappy on this here, but eh. And now we're back on the outside here, which reminds me of uh, a few levels in Donkey Kong Country 1 and 3. I don't, it, the background here reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 3. I don't know why, but it just kind of does. And... I wonder how those kids are doing. Sure, they'd hurry home. Settle down, woman. I asked Mario to help out, so I reckon he'll bring him back when he's good. I just have this odd feeling they'll be dropping in on us any minute now. Still gotta use the door like everyone else, Ma. Settle down. Speak of the devil! They're home! Gracious, they really did drop in on us. Oh, my poor babies, are you okay? Little mite, are you hurt? Nah, we're okay, Ma. Isn't that fun, mite? We had fun. Mama, Papa. To be knocked out senseless, you poor baby. You're safe now. I, haven't I told you enough never to go into the mines by yourself? That's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have them back. You haven't thanked Ma or a proper either. I'm so embarrassed. Mario, we can't thank you enough for everything. Hmm. What's that? The roof you say? Nah, don't matter, man. It ain't nothing at all to me. You just leave any repairs to me. Give me a holler if you ever need a hand with your place. Thanks for bringing our babies back to us. You found Dinah, Might, and a star piece. But where's Toadstool? Find out on the next Mario RPG.